Hi everyone, Irina from the marketing team here with a short video tutorial about Power Diary. And in this video, I want to share with you how to make the most out of your Power Diary reports. I will show you how you can use the grouping and filtering feature of each report and how you can add or remove additional columns. The features I am about to show you will work with any Power Diary report. For the demonstration purposes, I chose to use the Invoices and Payments financial report and I have already generated it. So now what I can do to further uh, filter and sort the data included in the report. The first function that I wanted to show you is how to drag a column to group the report by that column. For example, let's group the report by practitioner. What I do, I just grab the name of the column. You will see that green uh, tick appear and I drag and drop it into the designated area. So this groups the report by practitioner and I can see that for the selected period, this practitioner made six sales or generated six invoices, six invoices and 18. I can then click on this little uh, arrow before the name and it will uh, open the further information exactly, right? The invoice number, client, uh, the description, so what service was sold and so on. So this is how you can group your reports by any uh, column. If you click on this cross, it will ungroup the report to its original state. So this is feature number one that I wanted to show you. Another thing is that each um, column has its own filter. So for example, I can filter the owing column. Uh, when I click on these three bars, the filter will open and I want to see the rows where the data is less than zero. Then I filter and I can see that I have one invoice that has the amount owing in negative minus $20. It means that there is an overpayment on this invoice and I may want to fix that. So this is how you can use the additional column filters to filter uh, and search for specific entries in your report. And if I click on those three uh, bars again, I can clear the filter so that I bring the report back to its original state. What else you can do? So feature number three that I wanted to show you, if you screen, uh, scroll to the bottom of the report and click on this choose columns button, you can add more columns to this invoice. So for example, I want to see which invoices were emailed to the client. I will tick that um, feature and click OK. And the date email column was added to my invoice. So this is all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found this useful. I will see you another time.